Oh my goodness. He took so much from me. Do not bother, it is futile. Oh my goodness! This nice try. I can't, dog. I'm getting scraped the fuck up. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, bitch! <laughs> Welcome back. We got the bad bitch wig 2.0 back. Hey, look, I ordered an extra one as a backup because I can already see that it's unraveling and little pieces of the wig is coming off. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't even know I got a wig stand. That's how committed I am to this shit. Dragon Ball Sparker Zero. This is episode number two. We're going to continue Goku's story. I think we got chapter two of Goku's story right here. Let's continue where we left off. I haven't played since I haven't played this game in six days. Okay. All right. Let's do this thing. Now, I, hey, look, I feel better about myself. A lot of ass has been getting whooped in this goddamn game, bro. This ain't like Xenoverse. Xenoverse was only a couple times where they really fight the Nuts gang and all that. But on here, dude, the computer, they, they definitely be putting up a fight. About one month after the group set off on their journey, Goku receives an SOS from Planet Namek. With the help of, I don't know how to say bro's name, Yashiro Senzu Beans, Goku now fully recovered, bores the spaceship's Bulma's father as prepared for him to set off for Planet Namek. On the spaceship, Goku continues his training before arriving on Planet Namek. He manages to speak every, to break every limit to attain greater power than he's ever known. Frieza, Emperor of the Universe, makes his appearance on Planet Namek in search of Dragon Ball. I know y'all said, say that shit again. Say the planet again. A newly recovered Vegeta also arrives, hoping to lay his hands on the very same Dragon Ball. The Saiyans are a true warrior race. Don't underestimate oh. us. <laughs> he beat his ass. Vegeta may have taken out the Emperor's underlings, but Frieza soon calls in his elite team of fighters, the Ginyu Force. In response, Vegeta teams up with Krillin and others, but even still, their fight with the Ginyu Force is no cakewalk. Goku arrives in the nick of time, ready to show off the results of his training. We're reading with these braces. Miku! Fighting! Mama! Sorry, you were wide open, so I just went for it. You punched him in the dick? Uh, you little uh, punk. Man, there he go with his fucking ass. <laughs> to make here. Either get off this planet and go home, or you're gonna wind up like your friend here. Did you hear that, Bertha? This jolt knocks out Raccoon with a lucky shot. And suddenly he's dishing out threats to the likes of us. Mm, he's got some nerve. Let's teach you, Shield Punk, why the Ginyu Force are the most elite warriors in the galaxy. Let's go! Yeah! And I hear some of these matches, you gotta fight five people with one health bar. I ain't seen struggle like that since Mortal Kombat 9, my boys. I'm not ready for that. I'm still learning how to play this goddamn game. This is what happens to more lag. Underestimate the that was crazy lag. That was that was crazy. Bro, restart this. What the hell was that? This is what happens to morons who underestimate the game you fools. How dare you! Nice. Not nice. Come on. You, you, come on, bro. Ow. 
What is this bloke? I'm not done yet. All right, come on. This will end it. Grab that ball. Right? Share your energy with me. Yo, I don't know how to do that right there. Take this. Share your energy with me. What does that do? I mean, how long do I have to do it for it to actually work? I can't even see him. Where'd he go? Come on. Bro, ain't no way. Hold on, bro. I just forgot the controls, bro. To be honest, to be honest with you, hold up. RB. He's ass. Luckily, hey, luck. Let me turn my headphones up. Luckily, this is the first fight of the goddamn episode. No. Missing boys playing online, doing, going crazy, bro. I even say I was watching Flight. I know he, uh, that first stream he did, he was losing some of them fights, but bro, he was out there competing. Goku swiftly overpowers two members of the Ginyu Force. Another manages to escape, but Goku has more than demonstrated the fruits of his training. He hears about the Dragon Balls from Gohan and the others, but before they can take action, Goku senses a strong key headed in the direction of Guru. Goku tells the others to head straight for the Dragon Balls while he readies himself once more. It's time for him to put an end to the Captain, to Captain Ginyu. So this is the guy, huh? His power level's only around 5,000. That's him, Captain. Don't be fooled. This freak's way stronger than that. He must be capable of boosting his strength in the midst of combat. From what I can tell, I'd say his true power level is somewhere around 60,000. 60,000? But that can't be. This guy's just a puny Saiyan. It's not unheard of. He could have a natural talent, or perhaps his abilities have been amplified by a mutation like us. Either way, this battle's sure to be interesting. To think I'd find an opponent that I can finally demonstrate my full power on. So, are we gonna dance or fight? <laughs> Have fun, Kakarot! Petita! Ah, this is nice. gonna be good! Uh, yeah. Bro, the computer, man, they're, they stay countering your shit. And they, they spam their, uh, their moves on you. Take this! Come on. Nice. Damn it. Without you like that shit? This isn't exactly gonna be a cakewalk. Mr. Ginyu. Asking for help, murder. I'm perfectly capable of fighting my own battles. But in again, and it'll be you I pulverize. Understood? Damn, I missed. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Your strength is unbelievable. Yeah, I think I'll take it. What do you mean by that? Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot that that happened. Shh. 
change now! Suddenly, Captain Ginyu begins chuckling. Then he lets out a deafening scream. In doing so, he triggers a technique that enables him to switch bodies with Goku. Now in control of Goku's body, Captain Ginyu heads back to the spaceship with his subordinates. Goku makes a desperate chase after them, but is hindered, trapped in uh, Captain Ginyu's injured body. Guys, listen! That's not me, it's Ginyu! Using my body! The others have arrived to find Goku battling his own body. Unknown to everyone, Vegeta has his own plans for Ginyu. But first... Seeing that brother has lost his will to fight, Vegeta ruthlessly puts an end to his life. Vegeta, why? They couldn't even defend themselves! Shut up! You're too soft-hearted, Kakarot! It's kill or be killed! After finishes off Burder. Yo. <laughs> what did I just say? What the fuck? <laughs> After finishing off Burder, Vegeta shifts his attention to Ginyu, who has taken over Goku's now body. It's time to finish the job! Now die! Fool! Change now! What? Oh no! Goku rushes to intercept Ginyu's body change technique and is able to reclaim his own body just in the nick of time. Bastard! How dare you! You ruined everything! I'm back to being me again! What? What the hell is going on? What does Kakarot think he's doing? I better swap with a fresh body and quick! Yours will do, Vegeta! Oh, or nothing! <laughs> Suspecting Ginyu's plan, Goku throws a frog between the captain and Vegeta. What in the world? Whew, that was a close one. Thwarted, Captain Ginyu is now trapped inside a frog and Goku is saved. Goku is then put inside the medical machine to recover. However, he can sense Vegeta and the others fighting nearby. Now get ready. <laughs> Meanwhile, Vegeta and the others sense an immense power coming from their opponent, one that far exceeds their own. As he is marveling at Frieza's strength, Goku's treatment finishes and he is fully healed. Try to hang on just a little bit longer. I'm on my way, guys. When Goku arrives at this raging battle, Vegeta is moments away from death at Frieza's hand. I, I'm begging you, please, beat him for me, for the pride of our race. You must defeat him, please. He must die by a Saiyan's hand. And so the battle between Goku and Frieza begins. For you to beg me for my help. I can only imagine how hard that must have been for you to do. I may have hated you when you were alive, but I always respected your pride. And now, it's time for me to share that pride. Pride in myself. I am a Saiyan that was raised on planet Earth. And in the name of every single Saiyan that you've made suffer, for them and all the people of planet Namek too, I will defeat you! And I would just love to see you try. Both of you, we need to get out of here and quick. We'll only be in the way. Go on, come on, hurry! Please don't die, Dad! Make Frieza pay for what he did! Goku vs. Frieza. Yeah. You awesome. Not bad. I don't know if I've ever yeah. felt this excited about the prospect of a battle in my entire life. Now I only decide how I kill you. Shit. Jeez. Coming, coming. Come on. 
Oh, there it is. I forgot how to uh, how to actually rush him. Come on. Dang. I'm getting excited. What? The hell was that? I'm not done yet. Hit him. I think I'll toy with you a bit. Yeah, I missed! Ah! 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 It's time for sudden death! No! Why don't we finish with the rest? That shit hurt! You vermin! Guys! I'm getting fucked up! Come on, charge up. Come on. Don't bother. How naive. I'm getting excited. Come on. Damn it, yo, I miss that shit every time. We just still got all that HP. It's over. You see, I'm able to survive in the vacuum of space. But can you? I don't. Now perish along with this plague! <laughs> that was the warm-up. That was the pre-warm-up to get ready for that warm-up. Fuck. <laughs> Take this! You got it! I don't know if I've ever felt this excited about the prospect for battle in my entire life. Now I only need to decide how I'll kill you. I think I'll toy with you a bit. Miss, thank you. I'm trying I'm trying to figure out how to best manage my key here. Nice. Look at the computer, bro. Share your energy with me. I think I'm toy. Yeah, that was nuts. All right. Please hit him. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to rely on this again. I want to win this fight. My only choice is to gather enough energy for a spirit bomb. Let's go. Share your energy with me. Share your energy with me. All right. Nice. Fuck I'm talking about. I was trying to do a spare bomb and mess it up. Bye 
little bit more. We got him. Alright, I have no key. Nice! Finally! Jesus! <laughs> Impossible! This can't be happening to me! Gotta work on those counters, man. It's so easy to button mash on here, but if you can time everything right, it's... And you kind of have to if you want to beat some of these these battles. Goku manages to defeat Frieza, though by the skin of his teeth, as soon as his feet touch the ground, Gohan and the others cheer, welcoming him, him, welcoming him back. Jesus. Let's go home. Lucky us, my little spaceship should be able to get us back in just under six days. Uh, almost out there somewhere. I totally forgot. Come on, Krillin. Don't freak me out like that. From the look on your face, I thought Freeze had popped back up. Yeah, well, just trust me. He's uh got nothing on her when she's ticked off. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. My body's already mad enough at me as it is. Planet Namek endured so much strife. But perhaps, at the very least, the Grand Elder and my ancient kinsmen can at last rest peacefully. Huh? How exactly do you know about the Grand Elder? Don't lose hope, Piccolo. Now that you're alive again, we can use the Earth's Dragon Balls to bring everybody else back to life. <clears throat> and when we get back, I'd like to speak with Kami about giving Vegeta another chance as well. You still want to fight against him, don't you? <laughs> well, I did make him a promise. <laughs> Ouch! Goku and his friends have defeated the evil Emperor, Frieza. Along with Bulma, the five of them triumphantly return home to Earth. I don't know if I've ever felt this excited about the prospect of a battle in my entire life. Now I only need to decide how I'll kill you. Here I am. Come on. <laughs> You just just stood there and took it, huh? You see, I'm able to survive in the vacuum of space. But can you? I now perish along with this planet! That move does so much damage. Yeah. 
I don't know if I've ever felt this excited about the prospect of a battle in my entire life. Now I only need to decide how I'll kill you. Share your energy with Alright, I gotta do this. How many more times? Is there like a delay in between when I could do it? All right, we gotta do one more. Shit, that was a crazy amount of damage. All right, there we go. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to rely on this again. If I want to win this fight, my only choice is to gather enough energy for a spirit bomb. Damn, I didn't do the right one. Get ready to see my guts! Your energy with me! For a spirit bomb! Done! Is that the best you can do? Oh, I did it! Okay! All right, now I can get to the third chapter. I didn't, I didn't do that in the previous fight. That's why. Ah! Goku's spirit bomb has finally brought an end to the long and hard fought battle. At least our heroes can rest, or so they think, until. No, it, it can't be. Frieza's alive! I advise against placing too much stock in your escape. Though if you like, I can bring you closer to home. <laughs> Trillin! No, Frieza! Don't do it! Go, go! <laughs> I think the brat should go next. You! You! Ruthless! Heartless! Bastard! Go! Take Piccolo with you and get out of here now! Find Bulma, find the spaceship, and go! But... Do as I tell you right now! Before I lose what little sense of reason I have left! Overcome with her pure rage at seeing Krillin die before his very eyes, Goku transforms into a legendary Super Saiyan. Once again, the trumpets of battle sound. Frieza, whose body could survive either the vacuum of space, has decided to launch an attack powerful enough to destroy planet Namek in its entirety. With five minutes left until planet Namek's extinction, Frieza finally reaches full power. His power is expanding even more than his muscles. This really must be 100% of his full power. Goku, are you listening to me down here? Quit standing around and finish him! This is our one chance! It also may be the only chance I'll ever have to fight him. If he really is the strongest being in the whole universe, I need to see if I can beat him myself. 
can't be brought back to life with the Dragon Balls a second time! And I refuse to take the death of my best friend sitting down! Krillin was my best friend! Frieza took him from me! He killed him in an instant! Like he was nothing! 85% now! 90! Frieza, just know the only reason I'm letting you reach full power is because I want to beat you at your best! no regrets for either one of us. I know you want the same thing. You're itching to see what your 100% full power is capable of. Otherwise, you would have blown up the whole planet by now. <laughs> Come get your ass whoop! It's 100%! My apologies for the wait. As requested, this is my full power! Then do you want to finish this, or are you just going to keep talking? Come on. Charge up. All right, what is that? What does Wild Sense do? Whoops. Okay. I thought I would dodge that. They said melee attack. Right here and now. Where are you at? You like that, brother? How'd that feel? Just like I did. Pussy. That Earthling? Are you talking about Krillin? Don't you dare say his name! Yo, that damage for everyone is nuts! Competitor! Wait! Don't make that wish! Ask the dragon to leave both Frieza and me behind! I'm serious, King Kai! You have to let me finish this battle with Frieza, or I'll never forgive you! Alright, fine! You win! But you really better win! Jesus! Excuse me! Is there a special condition for me to, uh... Getting the hang of it, we getting a little bit better. I know I got a long way to go, but I ain't never gonna be one of those, you know what I mean? But I'm just trying to open the computer's ass. <laughs> oh, the irony. He who triumphs loses everything, while the vanquished escapes. I hate to gloat, but there's a lesson here on the virtue of mercy. Its only value is to your foe. We'll see about that. I am Lord Frieza, the most powerful being in the universe. Which is why... Which is why... You must die by my hand! You fool!
After a desperate struggle, Goku defeats Frieza. He tries to escape from the crumbling remains of planet Namek. The spaceship he's found is too damaged to be piloted. Luckily, he spies a pod piloted by the Ginyu Force and with that safely but narrowly escapes planet Namek. Yet the pod is not headed for Earth. It is destined for planet Yardrath and, Yo and Goku learns a new technique. Did I say the planet name right? I don't know. Shit. We go. So we cleared that chapter because we use a spirit bomb. I gotta make sure I look at the um the objective. They do have the little kind of like alternate ways that you can do stuff. So if you go work back to say here, you could choose not to work with Piccolo, and that'll open up a separate little arc here, or just like a separate fight or cutscene, or you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyway, so back, we're in the Android sale art. Let's do it. Here it goes. Let's start it. One year has passed since the battle with Frieza and Planet Namek. Frieza has survived and comes to Earth seeking revenge. However, a mysterious young man suddenly appears before I was actually going to dress up as Trunk. Maybe we'll do that for the next DBZ game, whenever that is. The young man then transforms into a Super Saiyan, just like Goku, and annihilates Frieza instantly. At the same time, Goku has, who was on planet Yardrat, after his escape from planet Namek, returns to Earth. The youth tell Goku that his name is Trunks and he has to come from the future. He warns that in three years, androids built by the Red Ribbon Army will arrive. Apparently in the future, Trunks' friends have been murdered and Goku has died of a heart attack. They has to come give Goku some medicine for his illness. After telling Goku that he will come to their aid when the androids arrive, Trunk returns with his own time. Goku is determined to fight alongside his friends to avert the coming catastrophe in their futures. Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and Gohan? I've been raring to fight you again. Sure, sounds good to me. Krillin, what about the rest of you guys? Thanks, but I'm gonna head to Master Roshi's and train with him, actually. Oh, well, okay. Three years pass and the fated date of May 12th has finally come. Goku and the others gather at the time and place that Trunks gave them. They settle in to wait for the androids appearance, but before they know it, they're already here. Up there, in the sky! He was attacked from above! Goku and others couldn't even sense the androids before they started landing in the streets. Suddenly, Goku senses that Yamcha's key is rapidly fading. They arrive to find him barely alive, having suffered a mortal blow at the hands of the android. Goku leaves Krillin with the injured Yamcha and turns to the face of incoming android. My cousins! There are too many innocent people here. Let's take this somewhere else. You agree to that at least? Too many innocent people? Well, that is a problem which can be easily corrected. You bastards! It was my understanding you wanted the streets free of onlookers. Evidently, our solution does not please you. That's it! Follow me and we're gonna settle this! Go. Goku leads the androids to a deserted area away from the town they were trying to destroy. Once at a safe distance from the humanity, Goku questions the androids about how they know details about him and the others. 
As it turns out, Android 20 has been studying Goku and his friends ever since he defeated the Red Ribbon Army in order to learn how to defeat them. He informs them that over time he has analyzed and come to fully grasp the power they wield. Android 20 is confident that victory will be his, but Goku only grins and responds. If all you know about me is from before I went to Namek, you're about to be in for a real shock! <laughs> Whoa! Mm. You guys stay out of this. If I'm the one these guys want, then that's what they're gonna get. A most intriguing discrepancy, this dormant power. It departs rather considerably from the data previously compiled. But it is not remotely discouraging. His strength is within manageable parameters. Android number 19 shall now operate as your executioner. Is that right? Fine. Then get over here and fight me. This dude ain't got, yo, he ain't got no personality. Like, you weak as hell. Weak as hell. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Just wait, wait. <laughs> oh my goodness. He took so much from me. Do not bother, it is futile. Oh my goodness! Keep fucking me up! I'm not done yet. He don't do a lot of damage, uh, but his attacks though. Okay, bitch. Why keep? Why keep? Oh my God! Why does he keep doing that move? Man, that man that had me keyless the whole damn fight. I'm not done yet. Do not bother, it is futile. Yo, is he absorbing my HP? His strength is immeasurable. This Super Saiyan transformation put Goku on a level far beyond us all. <laughs> we'll see. Man, that man is dodging everything I ever dreamed of, bro. Do not bother, it is futile. I'm not done yet. I'm about to lose the Android 19, bro. Did y'all lose the Android 19? Did y'all lose to this pussy? I'm gonna restart. Okay. I yield, brother. I use my heavy attacks a little more when they're doing that shit. We're settling this right here and now! Nice. Do not bother, it is futile! <laughs> Gotta keep at least two on me. Come on. Yo, when they do that, he takes your key and your your health. Take this. must have been Do not bother, it is futile. Now I'm 
amazing. His strength is immeasurable. This Super Saiyan transformation put Goku on a level far beyond us all. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, you did all right, bro. I'm not done yet. Do not bother, it is futile. Nice, because he keeps blocking, bro. Get ready to see my real strength. Okay. Goku loses consciousness after his battle with androids. Once he's been given the medicine from Trunks, he comes to a few days later. During that time, androids 16, 17, and 18 awaken, and to make matters worse, a creature named Cell has appeared, seeking the ultimate power. It is uh, through absorbing androids 17 and 18 that Cell plans to attain his perfect form. Now aware of his new foes, Goku enters the hyperbolic time chamber so he can complete a year of training in just a single day. If I want any chance of winning battles to come, then I need to train hard enough to find a level beyond Super Saiyan. Oh shit, sorry, I, missed it. I didn't get to read it. It started. Piccolo's getting ready to fight. Yeah, but who? Do you think it's so? No. Whoever it is, I can't sense their energy, so it's gotta be one of the other androids. Stop, Gohan! We can't help it! We're nowhere near their level right now! All we do is slow Piccolo down. Dad, that energy! It, it's gotta be Cell! He's on the move! Go ahead and help. If I use my instant transmission, I might be able to get Piccolo out of there! Thanks, Dad! Please save him! Piccolo, Piccolo, damn near Gohan dad anyway, man. Goku, you, you out there running them streets and shit. Goku and his friends sense that Cell's approaching Piccolo's location. He uses extra transmission in a hurry to Piccolo's side. Just as they arrive, however, Piccolo is attacked and mortally wounded by Cell. Seeing their friend hurt, Goku and Gohan fly into a rage that marks the beginning of their battle with Cell. I'm trying to fight the android. Stay calm, Gohan. Try to sense his energy signal. You're right, I can still feel it. Mr. Piccolo is alive! I'll buy us some time. While I do, you rescue Piccolo and hurry back here. But be careful! Uh, okay! You're Goku, aren't you? That's funny. How did you get here all of a sudden? I hadn't felt the faintest trace of your energy. That's for me to know. And you to find out. Hilarious. Well, finding out isn't exactly high on my to-do list. It hardly matters anyway, since you'll soon be more bio-extract for me to drink up. Go ahead and try me then, Cell. Out of my way, Goku. This freak is mine to deal with, not yours. Damn! Half my damn meat, I can't see shit! 
I'm here, Goku. Let me back you up. Thank you, Tien. Now he getting at me for real, man. Goku, killing you will have to wait. I cannot allow number 17 to be absorbed. 16? You're actually gonna fight too? By my calculations, Cell and I are approximately equal in power. What? You I'm not done. You Damn, bro. I missed. No way. Come on, come on, charge it, come on. All right, let's go. Please don't miss. I need to hit him. You Fucked him up. Get hit by cell solar flare. Oh, hey, Kyoti. Oops. No, it's my purpose to achieve perfection. I, I ain't know. I ain't mean to do this killing shit. I ain't mean to do it. Oh my God. We gotta do it over again. Yay! Goku and his friends have successfully defeated Cell, but now the androids stand before him. Since their common enemy has been done away with, the androids return to their original objective and are about to try to kill Goku. Hey, look at my man. Hey, they lied, but the wig that I purchased is different than that. It was supposed to look like his. However, the androids have suffered damage from their battle with Cell. Listen, your bodies are way too injured to be fighting right now. I'm not going anywhere, so why don't you rest up and we can do this another time? What the hell are you talking about? These little scrapes are nothing. We could still take you easy. Let them know, twin. Yeah, don't throw me any sympathy. I haven't had a scratch. What's that supposed to mean? Well, not naming numbers, but one of us was hogging all the action and ended up with a couple boo-boos. So step aside and let a lady stretch her legs. Mm. <laughs> yeah, whatever. You got any problems with that, 16? Negative. Good. Glad we're on the same page. Tianchen Han, would you let me take this one on my own? Of course. Just be careful, Goku. Okay. Hey, I don't give a crap. Go ahead. You can both attack at the same time. It's no skin off my back. No way! You being as strong as you are is actually why I want to fight you one on one! I want to test out if my current skill level matches up with yours. That's all. <laughs> don't start getting ahead of yourself. Ain't no way she did me like that, bro. <laughs> Bro, I'm getting my ass whooped. That sucks. Nice try. Yeah! 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 
Bro. I can't, dog. I'm getting scraped the fuck up. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, bitch! Quit running! Stop! Bros. All right. It didn't go hot. You go! I think we clutch it out. Quit running. I don't think we can. Get ready to see my real strength. You go! It's over. It's a rat. Kill me. Kill me. Why she trolling me, bro? Not. Quit running. Hey, I don't give a crap. Go ahead. You can both attack at the same time. It's no skin off my back. No way. You being as strong as you are is actually why I want to fight you one on one. I want to test out if my current skill level matches up with yours. That's all. <laughs> don't start getting ahead of yourself. This do it. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. I can't even move. Oh. Hey, I don't give a crap. Go ahead. You can both attack at the same time. It's no skin off my back. No way. You being as strong as you are is actually why. Yo, how she blocking everything I do is like she knows. If my current skill level matches up with yours, that's all. <laughs> Don't start getting ahead of yourself. I can't even hit the bitch. Quit running. Hey, I don't give a crap. Go ahead. You can both attack at the same time. It's no Bro. off my back. No way. You being as strong as you are is actually why I want to fight you one on one. I want to test out if my current skill level matches up with yours. That's all. <laughs> don't start. Yo, is it just me getting beasted like this? You've got to be kidding. Quit running. Kiss my ass. Nice try. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not done yet. We're settling this right here and now. Nice try. You want to keep going? Yeah. Oh man. Quit running. Yeah, the, the computer, they don't even be having a lot of key. They still be able to do all type of shit. Yeah. 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 
Man, look at my. Oh. Hey, I don't give a crap. What Go. Is going on, man? Hey, I don't give a crap. Go ahead. You can both attack at the same time. It's no skin off my back. No way! You being as strong as you are is actually why I want to fight you one on one! I want to test out if my current skill level matches up with yours. That's all. <laughs> Don't start getting ahead of yourself. Quit running! <laughs> You're laughing at me. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. How Get ready to see my real strength. All righty then. All right. Nice job. Quit running. We're settling this right here and now. You're kidding. Oh wow, that was like way easier. Wasn't expecting this today. <laughs> How's she doing? Though inferior in power, Goku taunts Android 18 and while remaining perfectly calm, that allows him to gain the advantage in their fight. Android 18 soon realizes she is losing and decides to abandon the fight with Goku. Ugh, that's enough. Now my clothes are all dirty. Wait, you're done? That was so quick! Untouchable as I am, I don't get that much of a kick out of fighting. Had enough time to lick your wounds? <laughs> you know androids don't run out of energy like that. I swear, you're the naggiest sibling in the world. They're putting up a much better fight now. Must have really got their head back in the game. Maybe from watching me against 18. Gotta say, Goku, you're as impressive a martial artist as the doctor said. That, and you're not nearly as annoying as that hothead, Vegeta. You kept your cool throughout that whole fight with 18, too. Making an android with unlimited energy sweat is quite an accomplishment. I've never had more fun. All right, make sure you like the video. I'm going to holla at you on the next one. We're going to fight our actual twin.